overseas students, NCNU welcomes international students from all corners of the world and aspires to produce top talents from Taiwan or overseas alike. Find academic exchange programs with many excellent universities around the world and encourage. picturesque campus is surrounded by jade green mountains and fresh fragrant air. The faculty and students are able to immerse themselves in their academic and scholarly endeavors in the scenic nurturing environment. The university has four colleges, the College of Humanities, the College of Management, the College of Science and Technology, and the College of Education, and the General Education Center. Their common goal is to develop knowledge and talents of our students in different fields. We aspire to provide a caring, supportive environment, to endow a clear vision, and to enable them to think creatively and critically so that they will be a dynamic force in the society. NCNU also has several featured research centers dedicated to cultivating the research talents in various fields. On the basis of outstanding teaching and research, NCNU gradually broadens its humanistic diversity and works to better integrate with the society. Moreover, NCNU maintains close interaction with many industries and has achieved several excellent results. Various departments also work closely with the center to integrate our students' academic studies with the knowledge and skills needed for them to enter the workforce so they may make a smooth transition. Not only does NCNU have abundant teaching resources, but diversity is also the character of this university. NCNU Library is a palace of knowledge. We constantly replenish the library's collection and work to provide an environment conducive to learning. Our Student Activity Center is equipped with exhibit and performance area and spaces for student clubs to offer students a good environment for extracurricular activities so that they may have enriching experience in and out of classroom. Our physical fitness center offers multifunction sport facilities. This center is where most of the PE classes take place and it is also a great place for recreation and leisure activities to our staff, faculty and students. In recent years, NCNU has put a considerable focus on campus sustainable development, and we have done well in Green Metric World University Ranking. Campus life here at NCNU is vibrant and rich. In addition to abundant learning resources, NCNU also offers students many choices in terms of food, accommodation, and transportation. During early spring, cherry blossoms in their full bloom adorn the NCNU campus. The site attracts tourists around the island. This is also the season when NCNU invites everybody to join our spring hiking. In addition to promoting environmental awareness, this activity also seeks to involve and engage the community in Puli, the heart of Taiwan. With emphasis on the importance of emphasizing both the importance of vision and international perspective, 
and setting sights on striking a balance in the development of science and humanities, as well as carrying forward the Chinese culture and strengthening the education of overseas students, NCNU welcomes international students from all corners of the world and aspires to produce top talents from Taiwan or overseas alike in academic exchange programs with many excellent universities around the world and encourage our students to participate in these programs and projects. It is our hope that this inspiring learning atmosphere spreads through NCNU to the world. that the passion of our teachers, professors, and students, as well as the joy of growth that comes with learning may overflow the mountains and rivers in Puli into the other corners of this island and the world, where if you look closely, dreams and aspirations can be found in learning. National Chinan University is located in Puli Nanto County. Seated at the geographical center of Taiwan, NCNU covers an area of 150 hectares. It is dubbed as the heart of Taiwan, a name well deserved for its breathtaking beauty. picturesque campus is surrounded by jade green mountains and fresh fragrant air. The faculty and students are able to immerse themselves in their academic and scholarly endeavors in the scenic nurturing environment. The university has four colleges, the College of Humanities, the College of Management, the College of Science and Technology, and the College of Education, and the General Education Center. Their common goal is to develop knowledge and talents of our students in different fields. We aspire to provide a caring, supportive environment, to endow a clear vision, and to enable them to think creatively. Their common goal is to develop knowledge and talents of our students in different fields. We aspire to provide a caring, supportive environment, to endow a clear vision, and to enable them to think creatively and critically so that they will be a dynamic force in the society.
NCNU also has several featured research centers dedicated to cultivating their research talents in various fields. On the basis of outstanding teaching and research, NCNU gradually broadens its humanistic diversity and works to better integrate with the society. Moreover, NCNU maintains close interaction with many industries and has achieved several excellent results. Various departments also work closely with the center to integrate our students' academic studies with the knowledge and skills needed for them to enter the workforce so they may make a smooth transition. Not only does NCNU have abundant teaching resources, but diversity is also the character of this university. NCNU Library is a palace of knowledge. We constantly replenish the library's collection and work to provide an environment conducive to learning. Our Student Activity Center is equipped with exhibit and performance area and spaces for student clubs to offer students a good environment for extracurricular activities so that they may have enriching experience in and out of classroom. Our physical fitness center offers multifunction sport facilities. This center is where most of the PE classes take place, and it is also a great place for recreation and leisure activities to our staff, faculty, and students. In recent years, NCNU has put a considerable focus on campus sustainable development, and we have done well in Green Metric World University Ranking. Campus life here at NCNU is vibrant and rich. In addition to abundant learning resources, NCNU also offers students many choices in terms of food, accommodation, and transportation. During early spring, cherry blossoms in their full bloom adorn the NCNU campus. The site attracts tourists around the island. This is also the season when NCNU invites everybody to join our spring hiking. In addition to promoting environmental awareness, this activity also seeks to involve and engage the community in Puli, the heart of Taiwan. With emphasis on the importance of emphasizing both the importance of vision and international perspective, and setting sights on striking a balance in the development of science and humanities, as well as carrying forward the Chinese culture and strengthening the education of overseas students, NCNU welcomes international students from all corners of the world and aspires to produce top talents from Taiwan or overseas alike. Find academic exchange programs with many excellent universities around the world and encourage our students to participate in these programs and projects. It is our hope that this inspiring learning atmosphere spreads through NCNU to the world. Okay, welcome to National China University International Student Recruitment Occupation and Orientation. First of all, I would like to remind you to mute your microphone first and uh, our control boarding will be opening up the microphone and uh, will be stacking and uh, pinning the person who's in charge of the presentation. Uh, first of all, we would like to ask our professor, Dr. Bob Sen Tai, for um, introducing our procedure for this orientation. The floor is yours, thank you.
Thank you, Julian. Uh, let me share my screen first. All right. Okay. And Julie will be sharing the screen. Uh, all right. I mean, Julie, go ahead then. Okay. Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Bob Sentai, Dr. Bob Sentai. I'm the Chief of International Office of International Affairs in Jinnan University, and I'll be introducing um, our guests um, and the staff in our office. Um, and firstly, welcome everybody to our orientation, and I hope everybody has the fruitful um, what should I say, the, the experience, and I hope to see you soon anyway. I mean, you, you will have a very wonderful experience online. Firstly, let me introduce our Dean of our Office of International Affairs, Dr. Aaron Chen. Please, Aaron Chen, you want to have a few words with him? Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Zhong Zhou Zhang, the Dean of International Affairs. Uh, it's our pleasure to set up this orientation for you to help you get to know more about uh, National China University. There are four features about National China University, include uh, pristine mountainous area, majestic scenery, great nature abundance, and uh, located in a tourism town near the Summer Lake National Park. So our university is very suitable for study and doing research. That's one of nation's public University in Taiwan. National China University offer courses include uh, humanity, science and technology, management and education, where the students are able to study a wide range of topics with professors who are very proficient in their own professional field. According to 2022 QSHR ranking, our university landed top 400 university in Asia region. We also provide great scholarship for international students, include the bachelor degree, master degree, and PhD. In conclusion, National China University offers a wonderful learning environment, best professor, nice facility, and great scholarship. Therefore, welcome to applied and send you, and we'll, uh, we will do our best to take care of you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Aaron Zhang. And um, yes, I mean, we are all very welcome for uh, everybody to come to our school. And um, okay, okay, after Aaron Zhang, uh, let me introduce with the staff of our office. And um, I'm chief, and then um, it's, I think you guys all met Julian, right? Julian, you wanna show your face? Here. Yes, uh, directing. Uh, is, she is the manager of our department. And then Jili Chen. Hello. Office, uh, officer of our office. And um, Wen online. Yes, yeah, she's in charge of all the facilities. Okay. And then uh, it's Margaret online. Yes, I'm here. Yes. Margaret would be in charge of your um, uh, entrance application and scholarship. So if you are in our university, I think she will be meeting you a lot. And and our new uh, member is, uh, what's your name? Lily. Lily, yes. And, and that's me, Lily. She is new to our office. And we have five uh, members in our um, group. So hope we can see you soon in face to face. Okay. And all right. After the opening, we will have the introduction of the NCNU, and then we will have the applying guide, and then department introduction later. So let me start the uh, introduction of our university. And um, Jilly, please move forward. Next slide, please. Okay. 
Okay, uh, this is our, um, in our department, uh, the, the, the department in charge of international students. And these are the members I introduced already. Next slide, please. Uh, we have a lot of partners in the, in the world, actually. We have 10 in North America, 26 in Europe, 27 in North Asia, 262 in South Asia, Central Asia is three, and Eurasia is one. Total, we have 129 uh, university partner in the world. So we are relatively international in Taiwan because our name in Chinese is also G, uh, G9 International University. Next slide, please. Okay, go ahead. Okay, yes. Um, we actually, uh, it's a new university, and then uh, basically, our university students are it's only 6,000, but we our, our area, the, the location in, in the, uh, of each university is very big. We have uh, 25,000 hectare, so it's pretty big and anyway. And, and I think if you are here, you'll be enjoying our university. It's a huge campus here. And um, our student to start ratio is 17 to one. Basically, uh, we have a lot of our professors and, and, and staff around you. So uh, it's easier for you to look for help and, and, and seek for any assistance in terms of life or, or friendship or, or study or scholarship. And we have 128 international students. Next slide, please. And um, in Taiwan, we all know Sun Moon Lake. It's a very, very famous place. and. Um, we are very close to Salmon Lake. And, and around Salmon Lake, there are a lot of five-star hotels and a lot of good scenarios and, and place you can go. Basically, uh, there's a world top 10 cycling path in CNN News uh, reporting about Salmon Lake and the ninth best biking route on the world. Basically, uh, we have a lot of reports on international uh, media. So Salmon Lake is only like 10, I think 15 minutes drive or 15 minutes bike going there. So it's pretty um, close to our university. And also it's, it's easier for you to find a job, part-time job here, because a lot of five-star hotels and a lot of shops around there. So it's easier for you to uh, have the additional income, of course. Next slide. Okay, this is our university uh, world ranking. And for, uh, QS, we are pretty good. Look at the number, it's pretty good though. Uh, 63 and then 100 to 200. And for THE is about 400 each. And in the world, we are about a thousand. So it's pretty okay, above average. But look at the green metric. Uh, we 2018 and 19 and 20, uh, three years in a row, we are number one. That means that we are surrounded by a green environment. So if you are in love with the uh, green, um, what should I say, environmental, um, what should I say, the facilities and, and the people here, I think you'll be in love with our university. Next slide, please. Okay, let me start introducing our uh, college. First, it's College of Humanity. Next slide, please. Uh, we have a lot of programs here. Basically, most of them, they have PhD program. And um, I think all of you are applying for master's and PhD. And we have uh, foreign language of literature and then uh, uh, Southeast Asian study and uh, social pol policy and social work and Chinese language and literature and history, public policy administration, teaching Chinese a second language. So if you are interested in Chinese, uh, we can do that here as well. And, and if you're interested in other departments in College of Humanity, we are also welcome you. Okay, next slide, please. And we have College of Management. Next slide, please. Uh, we have a lot of programs here and economics, banking and finance. Actually, Dr. Uh, Aaron Zhang is from banking and finance and international business study and tourism, leisure, and hospital management. I'm from there, by the way. And uh, information management, EMBA program, strategy development, and emergence uh, industries. We, most of them, we have a PhD. 
and uh, all of them have masters. So yeah, welcome to applying master degree for uh, College of Management. Next slide, please. And the College of Science and Technology. Next slide, please. And uh, we have five different uh, programs here: Computer Science and Information Engineering, uh, Electro uh, Electrical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Applied Chemistry and Applied Materials, and up to ele Electronic Engineering. Well, all of them have masters and PhD program. So, um, yeah, we're more than welcome to apply them. Next slide, please. And the last one is College of Education. Next slide. And it has the uh, International Comparative Education, Educational Policy and Administration, Consulting Psychology and Human Resource Development, and Graduate Institute of Curriculum Instruction Technology. Uh, both of them, all of them have masters, and three of them have PhD program. So I only have the very, very short introduction because I, I think I'll, I want to leave some time for the uh, department chairs to introduce them, them, them themselves. So. Uh, let's move forward. So uh, let's go to the supporting system. Uh, okay. Thank you. I will take charge in to introduce our support system. Okay. And uh, we also uh, have different aspects in our support system. First of all, I think it's most of uh, you and uh, international students concerned about. So I will introduce uh, more detail later and also. Okay, next one is we provide international students. We have a body program that uh, our local Taiwanese students, they are volunteer to uh, become a body so that uh, if you are our international student, when you come and in the first year, we'll have, you will have a body that they can help you to uh, adapt to your life in NCNU. Also, you can do such a, like exchange language is changed and uh, you can know more about our uh, Taiwanese culture and if you have any uh, problem or questions and to adapt in adapt to our uh, culture or your life you al always can ask your body and uh, to uh, have a uh, look for help yes and also you can make a Taiwanese friend here yes the next one is uh, our International Student Association. That uh, it's like a student club. To uh, you can in this association you can uh, meet different kind of uh, international student from different country, and also include our overseas Chinese student. And you can get uh, your help, and you can communicate, and uh, uh, you can know each other in this uh, like a student club. Also, we have a our host family program. Uh, this is a new program from NCNU. Uh, we provide uh, if our staff or faculty uh, they would like to be uh, become a host family. Uh, you are our international student. They you will become uh, our in our program so that you can join our uh, their family gathering or the, uh, during the you were like our holiday and uh, during the. Um, like festival in Taiwan. Yes, you, you can get more involved uh, culture and the uh, different uh, experience life in Taiwan. And the last one is international exchange program. Uh, if you are interested in uh, global mobility, it's a kind of yeah, very welcome program for you. So uh, we also provide to our international student also, okay. The next one is, as I say, uh, we have an international student association. It's like a student club. Also, so, so there is a 83 student clubs in NCNU. Uh, you, you has a very different kind of club, such as like service, social, music, academic, and etc. You can choose whatever you would like to join and enjoy your campus life here. And here is some of our sports grounds. Yes, you can uh, advent, have an adventure here. We, we have a softball and the archery and also uh, rowing, uh, different kind of sports. You can enjoy all 
if you would like to uh, sport, you will really enjoy this. And here is our sports facility. You can see we have a spa and swimming pool. And uh, you, if you like workout, we have gym. And also we have, you can play volleyball and badminton or basketball in our uh, very uh, great sport facility here. Okay, uh, here is, uh, we have uh, some cultural excursion because we are really near some lake. So we have our own hub here and uh, we provide our international students to have a experience in some lake kayaking. It's really uh, interesting. If every internet student you should come and uh, have uh, an experience like this. And also uh, because uh, we are near some lake, uh, it's kind of really famous in black tea. So uh, you can also experience the tea packing here. And uh, during uh, different festival and uh, different holidays in Taiwan, uh, we also provide and hold uh, different activities here, such as like Dragon Ball Festival. We have a uh, egg, egg balancing activity, and uh, we also hold a uh, uh, Chinese if uh, gathering here, and eat hapa something like that. And uh, because you can also play archery here. And here is our OIF Festival Club. If uh, you are our international student, you can join this uh, festival page and uh, look for if there's some activities for international students. And here is some activities we hold uh, recent years. Uh, you can see it's International Activities Week. We have a food festival from Myanmar and India. Here is a picture. Yes. And you can cook your uh, delicious food from your country. And here is a, we have an international student orientation. Uh, and at the beginning of fall semester and spring semester, uh, we, we always hold uh, this orientation to the, the student who came in the first year. Also, you can meet your student body here in this orientation. Okay, so here is some our accommodation. Okay. Okay, I'll be in charge. Okay. So here comes our NCNU accommodation. Uh, we have two types of the accommodation type. One is for undergraduate dormitory, and basically is for room for four students for undergraduate programs. And these are the photo shorts that you can share, and you do have some intercommunication -com space for them. Next, please. So this is for the graduate student dormitory, and these are more cutting edge and more advanced, especially it's a very new dormitory for graduate student. And uh, they have uh, even for the ventilation facilities and even for the very good resources and for research and to stay and to have your own space for study or to do your own work. Next. Okay, here's come to our most important part that you might be interested in is the international student scholarship part. There are a total of two types of study uh, scholarship award. One is benefit and one is the reduction for tuitions. So for mass program, the mix, uh, the every month range from the NTD 2000 to 4000. So they will be basically granted with one year. That means equals to 12 months a year for a maximum of two years for undergrad for master program. As for the PhD program, and uh, the monthly rate will be ranging from 66 six thousand to eight thousand. And the total year for the granted will be less to four years. Next. Okay, so there are some new scholarships that just initiated by NCNU this year. So for bachelor's program, then there will be maximum reduction period for bachelor's program. That's at most for four years. That means your whole stay in SNU. And as for the master program, that there will be a basic tuition waiver or exemption of tuition fees that is lasting up to two years. 
As for PhD program, and that kind of exemption for tuition fee will be lasted for four years at maximum. Next. Okay, so this is the chart that can, you can see the rate, and we are using the currency of USD dollars, so you may convert to your own currency in your countries. So for bachelor's program, the tuition actually is like um, 1,000 USD dollars, and for master is also the same fee, and for PhD as well, just they have the credit fee according to the courses or the credit you take per semester. Next. Okay, as for the miscellaneous fee or textbook fee that will be costing you for NTD 2000 to 3000 each semester, which is really affordable education in Taiwan and uh, over the world. As for accommodation, and as we mentioned, there were two types. So it's ranged from 6000 to 10000 It's like a dormitory fee, and they will be deposited, but it is refundable. As for living expenses, we are in the middle or the center of Taiwan, which means that we are not in big cities, so it's quite affordable living expenses, but with high qualities. So there's also like additional health insurance, which will not cost you too much. And also that um, is about for semester basis. As for other fees there, if you are taking the courses regarding the language equipment, and there will be some extra fees and charge, and you can see we do have a very beautiful and a large and diverse sport and uh, PE centers. And uh, per semester, it only costs about like 20 USD dollars per semester. So it, which is really attractive and which is really exciting for students who are enjoying the sport. Next. Okay, so there might be some small amendment subject to the change of our policy, but well, we can guarantee you that this is not going to be a very giant change. So please be secure with our policy and regulations. Next. Okay, also, uh, except from our scholarship from NCNU, we do have a scholarship from Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Taiwan and Ministry of Education of Taiwan and for Ministry of Science and Technology Taiwan Scholarship. So this is our basically you have to apply from our tech office in Taiwan and in your country that you may accept and they may like uh, to select the elite candidate and to enroll this kind of scholarship program. Thank you. There's one additional scholarship that's for freshmen at NCNU. So that the application regulation will be listed in our like brochure for admission. Next. So mm, yeah, last but not the least, there's three QR code and uh, what is most important is from our application period. Starting from November 19 to December 1st this year, we will be accepting an, our new student for the next spring semester, which will be start in February in 2022. So if you do have any questions, please join our Facebook, please join our like YouTube channels or to just consult with us anytime. We will have a 724 person in charge. Thank you for the attention. Okay, so if it is not too rush and uh, we would like to, to have more detail about how to apply for uh, um, the entry or admission, we were going to invite our PhD student from the program in strategy and developing of emerging industry, Kelly, to give us some elaboration of how to apply online or what kind of document you are going to prepare in advance. Okay, Kelly, the floor is yours. Yes. Yeah. Uh, please turn off your yeah volume, turn down the volume. Yes. 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 Kelly, if you do have two devices with you, just turn one off.
。嗯 ，Kelly， 麦克风请打开哦。Hello，Hello，Hello， hello, 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 Yes. Hello. Better now. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. That's better. Hello. And、uh, did you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Not see the screen. Yes, screen.、Um, do you want us to share your document? Yes, I will.、Uh, let me share again. Thank you. So I will.、Uh, hello, everyone. Thank.、Uh, good. Good afternoon, Professor Senior Sister from OIA and、uh, international new international students.、Uh, thank you for joining this event.、Uh, my name is Kelly, and also I'm from Myanmar, and I study PhD program in strategy development in major industry in College of Management. Uh, so thank you for letting me to participate this big events, and thank you for、uh, the opportunities. So I will、uh, quickly run into the PowerPoint slides. Yes. So、uh, this is our university. You all know that, and also our international office.、Um, sister already explained all details, and I think you will enjoy our、uh, university to study here. So first, I would like to、uh, say how to you apply the applications. So、uh, before you apply the application, you need to download the、uh, brochure first. So you need to go through the、uh, QR code and go into the QR code and find the.、Um, Uh, fine. So here you can see the right side. I I mentioned about that admission browser release here. So this is the first step. You need to uh, uh, memorize and then you need to read all details, uh, uh, in your in your computer, and then you need to uh find that. Um, can I can I share my screen? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh. No, why can't I share my screen? Yes. Then, ah,、uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yes, here.、Yeah. So you need to ah.、Uh, You need to see the brochure first, and then here is the brochure. Uh, uh, international office already prepared a lot of informations here. So、um, we have the timetable, schedule, and also、uh, application procedure and deadline, document required for applications, and also some、uh, college in information. And in in here, you can see a lot of informations in details. And each department has a different、uh, requirements to apply your, your program. So please read carefully every instruction and. We also have the scholarship and tuition retention applications already explained by our sister, and also、uh, important regulations, dates and places for admission, interview and examination. Also,、uh, how to、uh, admission regulations and admission announcement, and also the final step is the registrations and enrollment. Thank you. Uh, now uh, I would like to、uh, explain about the basic requirements. So. Uh, here are the application form,、uh, scholarship application form, study plan, research proposal, autobiography, recommendation. All are already included in the in this、uh, PDF file. So please, please、uh, read carefully every informations、uh, that mentioned in the paper. So you are,、uh, here you can see.、Uh, 
Here you can uh, you can see uh, there is a paper and then they, they already mentioned about that uh, application for admissions and then you need to fill the uh, every details of the paper and here I'm sorry and so I I'm highlight here is one to six is uh, we need to submit to the, our university and seven to 10 uh, is our board university. And uh, uh, when we go to the embassy, we need to also submit. So uh, please prepare every single things. So I here would like to mention uh, more detail is uh, fi uh, academic transcript and bachelor certificate. So in our country, uh, acad uh, academic transcript, we have the four year certificate because we didn't have the one year altogether in for four years. So uh, we have the four papers back. Uh, in here, we can go to uh, like this. Uh, we can we can all together. We can combine four papers together and then stem uh, uh, with the MOFA stems and then go to the MNC and the MNC will deliver you this paper. So uh, for this paper, you need to pay uh, 15 USD. Uh, 15 USD. I think uh, around 15 USD for one paper. So if you would like to uh, stem one. For each one paper, you can also stand back. Uh, to reduce your money, uh, I support uh, and I suggest you to submit uh, the paper for together, uh, all, all the four papers together at the stamp one time. And all the documents I here mentioned, uh, financial statement, academic transcript, bachelor certificate, um, uh, passport, passport, uh, I don't think so, uh, you, you need to uh, stamp. And seven to nine, you need to you need to first go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in your country and then STEM and then go to the embassy for your further uh, procedures. So here, uh, it is, this is a one thing I would like to mention that if most of the students doesn't know about the procedure, so they directly go to the embassy and then the embassy would like to ask you to go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to have the proof. Uh, proof. So uh, if you don't know, it will be more uh, difficult to go and the time wasting. So I think I would like to uh, share this experience. And also uh, language terms and the photos uh, should be prepared in advance. And so now I uh, go to the application form. This is the paper process. And then later I will show details uh, the system application form. And this is the scholarship application form. So uh, most of the students, uh, they forget to apply and they write their uh, information on the school, uh, scholarship application form. So uh, please remember, if you would like to apply the scholarship application uh, from our university, you need to write your detailed information to that, uh, to that form. And also, uh, most of them, uh, um, we need a study plan and a research proposal. So research proposal is depends on our university departments and most of the university require. So if you would like to apply master or PhD program, you definitely need to write a research proposal. And here they already mentioned our details. So uh, please uh, follow the instruction and read carefully. And then need to cover what it mentions about. For example, here study plan, you need to cover your background information, motivation, study plan, and CNU and career plan. After after finishing your study. So please include those informations uh, so that you can get a, a very good impression from, our uni uh, from the uh, admission department team. And also research proposal uh, here is uh, when you need to write about 5,000 words. So please be careful and um, prepare in advance if you would like to uh, apply this uh, next semester. And also autobiographical statement is uh, this paper is uh, mostly about your promoting yourself. So why you are suitable for this program and then why you would like to uh, get the scholarship uh, so that uh, every, uh, admission team will understand that uh, you are the good students. And uh, if, you, if you get the scholarship, it will be very, uh, very good uh, chance for you to study here. So uh, be uh, promoting yourself as much as you can. And also here, recommendation letter have two versions. One is uh, for the for the student who uh, who doesn't uh, would like to uh, uh, who uh, for recommendation we also have two versions. Uh, and if you don't would like to apply the scholarship, you don't need to the left side of the application. Uh, but if you would like to apply for the school scholarship, you also need to fill the two forms. So scholarship uh, uh, recommendation letter and the normal recommendation letter. So please be uh, 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 fill the form like this applicant, the part, department, institute, and some of the information here mentioned. So please uh, ask your professors to write and, and sign the signature very well. 
And uh, for each cell of the online application system, I will show the instructions here and I will quick, uh, quick show it. Uh, so let's see this slide. Can you see my screen? Stay now, right? Yes. So uh, firstly, uh, to get a to get an account, you need to uh, open a new account for obtaining your own account. So uh, here they already mentioned that uh, this is an account obtaining, and then to first open your account, your inform fill in the. Uh, information first before filling your information you need to verify the code and you are not a robot like this and uh, so you can start fill your information here if you have the Chinese name you can uh, put your Chinese name here and name passport number and this as uh, your personal information and uh, click the apply for an account and later that you use your account and password and also you can you can you need to uh, set a password here so uh, with your password account and password you can uh, go into the system very well so here after you log in and you can click the online application so here uh, is the very first uh, form. This is the personal information so this is the uh, application form so here you can uh, see a lot of informations in detail so don't miss every information and then please read carefully every uh, single information they mentioned here and after you finish this first page you need to uh, click the data is ready for your submission and also this is for your education background so also need to uh, fill the education uh, information very clearly and state that and if you uh, if this is not enough for you, there's also uh, the blank uh, space for you to fill. So feel, feel free, free to fill the form and you need to click the data is ready for submit. And this is also this is also the important part because this is the program you choose. We have the three options. You can choose uh, three department. If you would like to study in CNU, you can uh, you can. Uh, Think about it, which, uh, which is your first priority uh, department and the second priority and the third priority. So uh, you can also need to uh, click here, master or doctoral program or bachelor. Uh, here is a spring, spring class, fall class like this. So uh, think about carefully. And after uh, finish designing, you need to choose your uh, department institute. So for the department institute later, our professor, each department professor will let you know uh, what they will teach you and the, how they can uh, uh, provide you the kind of information. So after finish this, all data is ready for submit. And here also, uh, we have the Chinese proficiency level test. Uh, so here you can you you can say your Chinese is excellent, good, average, or maybe you don't know anything about Chinese yet. Just put, uh, just uh, click your um, proficiency level and click for data is ready. And also here is uh, um, the financial uh, improvement. So this is for the university. So uh, you need to write your personal account. And then this one is uh, not NCNU scholarship. If you get the scholarship from another um, uh, society or another uh, government uh, scholarship like this, you can you can fill the information. And here is your hair condition. Your you need to uh, don't forget to check your hair condition here, average or good or poor. And so this is the important. Uh, if you would like to apply the scholarship, you need to click this fine here. So uh, data is ready for submit now. And the last part is you need to show your GPA uh, here. And after you know uh, you fill everything uh, in details you can check uh, for the final. So this is all the information that please double check or triple check and uh, don't uh, don't make the mistakes of your information because it's really important if you um, round type or typing error. So it's really uh, difficult to correct again. So uh, after I finish this, uh, everything you need to uh, click the data is confirmed and ready for submission so uh, after you click that uh, there will be the two bars like this and op uh, open this box and uh, print out all the application from you fully uh, before and then sign in the paper and then uh, put uh, put the date in your paper too and then scan and then uh, change into the pdf file so because our our system only will accept the pdf file so now after you finish all the data informations uh, the step four is document online upload so now you can click the documents online and uh, all the documents are 
change into the PDF file and then no longer than 10 megabyte. And also, uh, so if you if you have something misinformation, for example, you you don't have you your your passport need to be uh, extension and there is no diploma certificate right now and the transcript, for example, financial statement like this. If you cannot show, uh, including uh, on this system, you need to uh, download the declaration for admission documents. So in the declaration uh, document is you can use the browser here so you can go to find the declaration form and then uh, sign your name and then what, which paper you cannot uh, submit you just directly write and then upload together on the system application so uh, for the letters or recommendations uh, you can upload directly to our system or maybe you can just directly send to our admission session it's also fine so it depends on your try so uh, please uh, think carefully and now you are uh, the application uh, ready your, your 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 application is ready to upload so here you can see uh, the docu uh, the requirements for this uh, system. Uh, the first one is the application form that you uh, print out and then change the PDF file and then put it here and uh, please don't forget to click this one if you not click it is you cannot upload it on the system and also your passport and your highest level diploma uh, transcript that i mentioned before a letter of recommendation your autobiographical statement a study plan and financial statement and also some uh, nominal and number chains are the departments required uh, uh, document required by the department so sometimes um, uh, your department will request you to upload uh, what kind of document you need to uh, submit for the program like this so you can submit directly together in this um, and after you submit it you can uh, click the confirm or submit the documents and after that uh, uh, after that is all finished so you already applying the system uh, and you can check now which the which your document is of which state so you can check it's already confirmed and then uh, preparing for the uploading documents and already preview reviewing and then um, uh, showing the result for the uh, admission announcement like this so this is all about the system i think it's really 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 easy uh because uh, all the documents are written in English, and so you don't need to worry about if you don't know the Chinese very well. So it's really um, easy to catch up all the informations together. So just uh, remember to download the brochure and the guideline first, so so that you can get every information together. Stay if you have any questions or about the operation of the registration system, or you have the same. Uh, like I mentioned, that if you uh, your information is wrong and you already submit that, you cannot get back to the uh, file so you can directly contact to the operation of the registration system uh, and exam at exam door and see under the edu.tw or maybe admission at anything you the edu.tw they will really really a very quick response to you and they, they will solve the problem for you guys so don't worry about that and uh, if if uh, if the email doesn't stay working you can directly call the number uh, so here are the very really convenient for you to study here and so uh, the last part I want to mention is uh, why I like to study here, because uh, our, our university is really, really big and the very good environment and really sustainable and uh, all the uh, all the campus are surrounded by the green uh, trees and also we have the seasonal flowers. Um, uh, so this is really big and also university provide a good scholarship. So this is really good uh, chance to study and see you as an international student here. And I really like you to have to study here. And also learning environments. Uh, we uh, students and our professors are really good relationship. And then whenever you have the difficulty or you don't understand anything about the lecture, you can appoint it with a professor and then you can go to the professor office and uh, have a um, meeting with the professor and they will really, really uh, uh, help you. Uh, and we also have the outside activities uh, according to your respective area. And we have the group discussion every uh, every subject. Uh, so we still have a lot of connection with the international students uh, and uh, Taiwanese students. So uh, students are really good and the professor in here are really helpful. So uh, we think, I think that it, this is the best, best opportunity to study and share our experience and then learn together. 
And also, we have a lot of activities here. Uh, we have the school uh, activity here uh, in the campus or outside activities. So this is the also uh, international um, uh, activities. Uh, we held together with Taiwanese friends. Uh, we are Myanmar students and also Indian students and also Vietnamese students together. And then we, uh, we hold the activities together. And also we have the outside activity that um, um, uh, Sister uh, from International Office mentioned that we have the really close with Samuel Lake, so we do have a lot of activities to there. And then also, uh, Chinese New Year party is a really big party in every international student and uh, like it. And so this is a, a very good opportunity. And I believe that if you study here, uh, you won't be very, you won't be boring, and uh, you will be very busy in studying and uh, enjoying the activities together. So this is my presentations, and thank you uh, for the attention. Okay, thank you for Kelly's like very splendid introduction to how to apply online. And uh, please download the brochure and there will be more. Uh, please find the link that we have attached in the message box. And uh, there are guidelines from the, our admission office who provide a whole standard uh, operating process to apply online, okay? So next, that comes to our like very exciting moment to introduce to introduce our uh, please turn off your microphone, sorry, uh, to introduce our department like chairs or even deans to participating in this session. So next session will be department introduction, and then here are some like of the time limit for each department or each program. We will have three minutes for you, and uh, once there is exist two three minutes. I will ring an alarm. Okay, and after ten seconds, after three minutes, and you will be muted. Okay, thank you. So first, we would like to invite um, uh, Dean Chen Chen Jianliang, Yuan Zhang, uh, for describing our interdisciplinary program of College of Management. May I share my screen? Yes, please. Can you give me the permission? Like I would like to share my screen. Um, you don't require the permission and just ask print the share screen immediately. Did you see that? Not yet. Sorry. Um. Yes, it's coming. Okay. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. My pleasure to introduce College of Management. Um, there are a couple of departments and I'm in charge of three departments. So the overview of our college, there are 60 faculty members and most of them are got, got their PhD degrees from both domestic and foreign countries universities. And there are eight departments, including international business study, economics, banking and finance, information management, tourism, leisure, and hospitality management, and interdisciplinary program. All the top six programs are of undergraduate. And there are two interdisciplinary master degree program and PhD program in the strategy and development of emerging industries. And the main goal of the College of Management, they, they are the eyes, integration, internationalization, and industrialization. It's easy to remember. In terms of integration, that we have a curriculum um, focusing on student-centered learning experience. So we implement digital ability and humanistic care in all courses that we got the a project supported by the Ministry of Education. And the title of the project is University Foresight Education Project. So uh, we promote the digital ability and humanistic care. By the way, we provide all varieties of extra curriculum of both indoors and outdoors activities. In terms of the facility of the college, we have more than 26,000 square meters building 
and we have lots of spaces for class and office needs. We provide domestic and foreign internship in terms of it, we can provide Vietnam, Myanmar, Japan, and other countries internship, both domestic and foreign countries. Also, we provide industrial related projects and we keep expanding in all directions. And we have three closed international connections. First one is the National Graduate Institute for Policy Studies. If you are familiar with Japanese higher education, you will know the Greeks University, which is a prominent institute in Japan. And the VP, the Vice President, Yokomichi Sensei, is our honorary alumni of 2021. And there is a Cyrex Center at the uh, National Graduate Institute for Policy Studies. Um, so the groups have a, we, we have the, a cooperation project with groups at Cyrex. Also, we have a, a close connection with um, Shohoku University, and which is in Japan. The president, Takanose Sensei, he initiates a Hanamizuki project. In fact, Shohoku University is under Sony Corporate. So Hanamizuki project is to incorporate Sony Corporation, both hardware and software <clears throat> for teaching and learning. And NCNU, the National Jinan University is the first partner, <clears throat> excuse me, of, Sho of Shogu University in Taiwan. So we are launching an industry academic project working with them. Also, we have a couple of universities all over the world that have a close connection with us. For example, we have a dual degree with Assumption University in Thailand. Um, also, we have dual degree program with National University of Mongolia. And both the two universities will send graduate students to Taiwan to pursue their dual degree. Moreover, we still have a, uh, a MOU with Fulbright University in Vietnam. We have a co uh, collaborations in between. So we send students to visit Fulbright, Vietnam. Also, they send their lecturers to come to Taiwan to our university to, post, to pursue PhD degree. And um, we have a <clears throat> close connection with University of Economics, Ho Chi Minh City, called UEH. Um, currently, we are holding a joint lecture, lecture series with UEH. Um, so um, if you come to NCNU, you can enjoy from undergraduate to master degree to PhD degree at the College of Management for interdisciplinary study. All right. So hope to see you here. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, Dean Chen would like to continue to describe um, about the program in strategy and development emerging industry, or that is will be the two program already. Yeah, I, I put them all together. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. And thank if so students yeah, and if students have further questions, please stay until the QA session, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And next one, we will be inviting our uh, Dr. Xu Wenzhong from Department of International Business Studies. Uh, the floor is yours, Dr. Xu. If you would like to share your screen, please. Microphone, please. Okay. Okay, can you see it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait a moment. 
Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to introduce uh, National China University for the Department of International Business. Um, most of most of our uh, teachers comes from uh, come from uh, very famous universities around the world, uh, especially such as me. I got my PhD degree from Leeds University, which, which is the one of the best uh, research center for international business. So I can make sure you can get the first hand knowledge in my department, okay? So who are they? Uh, as you know, we all know those people on the screen, but who are they? How, will, how, how do you like to describe them? Multinational enterprises, of course, or they were leaders, but who are you? Okay, so what are you going to learn at international business studies? In our study, if you like to be the people like Warren Buffett, you have to select some courses in, uh, from the field of international finance and such as international finance, asset pricing, financial management, and then you can know how to be another Warren Buffett, okay? If you like Musk, okay? You, if, you like, if you like Tesla a lot, and then you can know how to become the second Musk again, okay? So you can select some course which is about technological management, in, innovate, innovation management, and then we will teach you how to uh, how to uh, create more uh, innovative thinking and you will get a lot of knowledge about uh, uh, innovation management. And on the other hand, if you like marketing a lot or advertising, you can choose the course in the field of international marketing, such as the, the modules we provided is international marketing management, marketing research, consumer behavior, e-commerce, retail management. Uh, in conclusion, normally you can try to organize all the all the uh, information and knowledges into international business management and the international business strategy, and also you could create your own empire, such as IBM, uh, Dell Computer, something like that. Okay, so. After you were studying in National China University, the department of IBS, what's up? What are you going to get? You can apply to our bachelor's degree in international business studies, and you also can choose the master our study in our degree provided as master of business administration, MBA. And also you can choose the degree about PhD in international business, OIR. So, we do hope you will build your own apple after you are studying international business. And we do hope we could see you here. And if you like to register for a, a bachelor's degree, you can try to register one degree, get advanced one. You are master degree in a year. Try to register now, okay? Move. Thank you. If you have a full, uh, if you need more uh, information, just uh, try to uh, send us an email and I will help you to uh, give you everything you, you need, okay? Okay, see you. Thank you, Dr. Xu, for your time management. Okay, next we will be inviting Dr. Chen Gu Fan from, uh, sorry, we'll be inviting our Dr. Wu Jingyun from Department of Applied Chemistry. Doctor Wu, please just share your screen and uh, turn on your microphone, please. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, sorry. Okay, can you see the uh, screen? Yes, please share in like full screen model. Okay. Okay, everybody, I'm the chair of the Department of Applied Chemistry and I'm uh, briefly uh, introduce my 
department and uh, our department will come uh, provide a master and the doctor uh, PhD programs. And uh, in, as you know, the chemistry is a fundamental applied chemistry science that is close to related to our daily life. So the uh, department first on three areas for research and the teaching materials chemistry, analytical chemistry, and the biomedical chem science. And uh, in uh, material chemistry, we are focused on photo electron materials and the uh, whole frame materials and uh, some computer chemistry, electronic conducting materials, and uh, some uh, dyes and sensitized solar cell and also polymers and also gross materials. And uh, we have uh, six faculty in this uh, field and all of them have each uh, research lab. And in analytical chemistry, we are focused on electron catalysis and biochemical analysis and also magnetic related analysis. And also uh, we are focused on some capillary electron uh, polytic methods and also bioactivity, bioactive integration analysis, biological mass spectral, spectral, um, uh, spectral matrix. And why we have five uh, faculty within this field, and uh, this is uh, each of them have some of their uh, research lab. And uh, in uh, biomedical science, we have uh, focused on bioanalytical chemistry, natural product chemistry, and the drug delivery, and uh, <coughs> also uh, capillary electromagnetic method, and uh, some uh, activity by uh, activity in, uh, uh, in gradient analysis. And the brand uh, neutron size and the behavior, behavioral neutralities and the bar images and the sub molecular and the cell ecology. Uh, and uh, we have uh, five faculty falling in these fields. And in our course, we have some in, uh, course in, in uh, teaching in uh, English and uh, in all Chinese. Uh, course, we have also. Uh, 30% in, in English. And about the funding, you can apply the scholarship from NGH official in the of international affair, and you may receive the, uh, the scholarship and the fund. Uh, when you uh, apply our uh, program, you may join one uh, research group, and in research group, you can get some funding from the Ministry of Science and Technology and all industry, university, cooperative research from project from your advisor. And the, the funding is depending on the past performance of your uh, applicant. And also you may be a teaching assistant and or pay from smoking study in the office of the department. That's all the funding from uh, you can, maybe you can gain, okay? Thank you for your attention. If you have more, question, you can uh, contact me with the email uh, from the website. Thank you. Thank you for the perfect time control. Okay, uh, next we're going to invite our Dr. Chen Gu Fan from Department of Civil Engineering. Uh, okay, so let, let me share my screen. Yes, please. Okay, so uh, it's my honor to, uh, intru uh, to introduce our department uh, to all of you. I'm Ku Fan Chen, the chair of the Department of Civil Engineering. Uh, our department is established in uh, 1997, and then we had a master program in 2001, followed by the doctor doctoral program in 2004. So we have uh, three, uh, four programs for all the students. Uh, there are uh, 14, uh, there are 14 uh, faculty members in our department, including 13 professors and uh, one associate professors. Uh, according to the research interest in the specialty of our professors, uh, there are uh, three major uh, research group in our department, including uh, structural engineering, geotechnical, uh, hydraulic, and uh, hazard, hazard mitigation. 
and uh, environmental and the transportation engineering. So uh, you can learn uh, all knowledges and uh, technologies related to uh, this field in our department. Uh, recently, our professors uh, also dedicate uh, to uh, some new issues in the topic uh, global, uh, uh, some, some issues related uh, to, uh, to, the, uh, to global, uh, including uh, university, university social responsibility and uh, sustainable uh, develop, uh, development goals. Uh, disaster prevention and protection in community and uh, included uh, vehicle uh, for the uh, monitoring of uh, landslide and uh, uh, landslide and uh, and uh, the disaster so you can also then uh, uh, th this interesting and modern uh, knowledge in our department uh, our department ha has joined IET accreditation system. So uh, our degrees and uh, graduates are, rec are recognized by international accords, including uh, Washington Accord, Sydney Accord, and uh, the Seoul Accord. Some of the advantages of IET accreditation, accreditation system includes uh, uh, our degree, our degree is recognized by many countries, in, uh, such as Canada, Singapore, uh, Malaysia, and the United States. The, and uh, if you are graduate from our department, you are qualified for professional engineer exam in the United States. Just uh, show the uh, graduate uh, graduate uh, certification, and uh, you can join the exam. And uh, you can also register uh, professional engineer. Uh, in many countries. Okay, so we provide sufficient uh, equipment for uh, students to learn, and we also have very decent and comfortable classroom uh, for students. Uh, we also provide uh, four English courses for foreign students, and for master students, we provide uh, eight to ten thousand uh, new Taiwan dollars per month. Uh, for a PhD student, we provide twelve to sixteen. Uh, thousand uh, new Taiwan dollars per month. So, if you are interested uh, in our department, uh, please, uh, uh, please uh, join us, uh, and welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Chen, for the extra funding from the collegial and department scholarship. Okay. Next, we are going to invite Dean Chen Chen Pei Xiaoyuan for introducing our Department of Southeast Asian Study. Mm. Okay, so um, due to completing meetings, and then we will come in to invite the next um, presenter, Dr. Chen Hengyou from Department of Computer Science and Information Engineering. Okay, can you see me? Yes, would you like to share your screen? Okay, I didn't expect I need to present so early. Sorry, I have a bad cold. I cannot speak language properly. Please take care. <laughs> and so uh, I have typed our department uh, homepage address where you can find a tons of information you need. So Today, I won't use any PowerPoint to make a presentation. I just want to introduce what we are doing here as a computer science uh, program. Okay, now everybody use a cell phone, right? And everybody connect to the uh, 
now we are able to see each other uh, mostly um, in this case, we have a fantastic computer technology, networking, operating system, software, camera, video coding, streaming, okay. Those terminology are all related to what we hear studying and doing research. Uh, we have uh, 16 faculty members. Everybody have a different uh, profession. Uh, me, I do sound and music. Uh, we have a professor doing video. I have some professor doing networking, okay. Uh, this uh, website, they have an uh, English basic translation. Uh, so you are very, very welcome to have a look. Uh, computer science and the information department, uh, we have a very promising future uh, in terms of doing research, uh, jobs, uh, and a salary. Oh, you know what I meant, because nowadays people kind of addicted to the uh, computer technology. We, but basically what's, what we are here doing, mostly we try to train the student, have a solid background, understanding the hardware. We, could, we write software, we build operating systems. Okay. So I think that we need a little bit music because I'm doing, can you hear the music? Yes, soundful. Okay. This is a program that I teach the student this early morning. The program, uh, of course you probably can understand it, but it's basically the English, very high level program. Uh, this environment we call a Sonic Pi, uh, promoted by uh, Cambridge University, UK. Now, do you see my guitar just beside me, but it's broken. I cannot, I cannot play with him. So now I decided to write a program to interact with him. You see? Can you hear? I use my cell phone yes. to simulate the guitar playing. And the melody is automatically controlled by the program. So to make this happen, we need a software. We need somebody to, to write a program. We need to the content domain. So computer science, not just learning programming language. There are all kinds of human problems waited for us to solve, okay? So welcome. If you are interested in working with the computer, uh, please join us, okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. I'm going to start my program here. So no music. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Chen. Okay, next we are going to invite Dr. Chou Xian Hong from the Department of Economics. Hello? Uh, yes, we can hear my, you. Uh, let me share my screen. Okay, so can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, uh, all right, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's good, really good to see you all here. Uh, let me start with a uh, brief history and the general introduction of the department. Um, similar to other programs uh, in, our, in our university, um, our department consists of uh, two programs, a master program and uh, an undergraduate program. 
Our master program was established in 1995, uh, which is one of the first five programs at NCNU. And then two years later, uh, our undergraduate program was established also. And currently, uh, we have uh, 11 full-time faculty members and two adjunct faculty members. Uh, as for students, we have uh, 247 students in our undergraduate program and the 19 students uh, in our graduate program. But even though the size of our uh, department is not so big, um, our faculty members do have a very uh, diversified, diversified fields of specialization. Um, a number of our faculty members are working on a microeconomic field. Um, this include uh, labor economics, uh, industrial organization, environmental economics, uh, international trade, family economics, and also uh, tourism economics. Um, some other uh, faculty members are working on uh, macro economic field. Uh, this includes uh, uh, monetary economics uh, or um, development economics. And some people are working on econometric field also. Um, this shows the curricular planning for the, uh, the undergraduate program. Uh, you will see that uh, the requirement for graduation is 128 credits, including uh, 47 credits of core courses. And next, uh, this, uh, this shows the core courses of the undergraduate program. And this is the curricular uh, planning for the master program, as you can see from here. Um, there will be 22 credits of core courses and 12 credits for uh, elective courses plus a master thesis, and this becomes your uh, master career. And next, um, what makes our uh, department uh, different from others is that we do have two tracks for the master degree. The first one is uh, the program of economic analysis, and this is um, similar to other ordinary programs, and this is intended for those with economics or business background. Uh, we do have another program, uh, which is program of in industry development. And this is intended for those without economics or business background. And we have different core courses uh, designed for each track. Um, this shows the core courses of the master program. And this is the core courses of our uh, program of industry development. Um, in the past three years, we have some English talk courses, including uh, introductory economics, manager economics, and uh, environmental economics. There will be more in the future. Um, I think I'm running out of time. Um, many thanks for your listening. And if you do have any uh, questions, uh, please feel free to visit our website or contact us by our email. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Cho. Okay, next we'll come to our Department of Chinese Language and Literature. Instead of like in-person introduction, they will show videos of the Chinese language and literature. Hi everyone, I'm Zeng Shouren, the head of the Department of Chinese Language and Literature of National China University. It is my pleasure to be here and meet you all on the internet. You are welcome to apply for our department. We offer bachelor, master, and doctor degrees Courses of our department focus on Chinese culture and study Chinese literature, language, and philosophy. Of course, 
It also includes Taiwanese culture and the literature. Now, the China Dream is so popular, and the Taiwan is a very distinctive place. Welcome to explore it. And we also have the following advantages. Our teachers are earnest and eager to teach. They have high research capacity. Teachers care for their students. The cost of living in Taiwan is not very high. And our department also provides scholarships. You may learn more about related information from the international office. Welcome to apply for our department. And thank you for listening. 大家好，我们系具有学士班、硕士班、博士班完整的教学语言教体系课程着重中国文化学习中国文学语文思想等等领域。当然也包含了台湾的文化跟文学。除了累积对于传统文化的认识，我们系更着重在以新观点来解读传
my department. Uh, for my department, uh, you can find the uh, uh, undergraduate program and uh, master program. Uh, first, uh, I would like to introduce the undergraduate program. Next one. Yeah, um, actually, uh, for my uh, for undergraduate program, uh, we have a very uh, interesting courses. Uh, for example, uh, except, uh, of course, uh, you need to take uh, some um, management courses, such as uh, finance, uh, uh, marketing, hotel management, restaurant management, and uh, tourism management. And also, uh, we offer a lot of uh, Critical uh, courses such as like uh, coffee uh, for the beverage management and uh, uh, baking. So uh, a lot of interesting courses, and also uh, so and also uh, under the, uh, the 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 undergraduate program. Also, we uh, have a uh, two. Different, a different division. Okay, so uh, so we have uh, except we have undergraduate program. We also offer master degree. So uh, if you want to. Uh, uh, after you graduate uh, from undergraduate, then you want to study a master program. And we also we have a very outstanding master program uh, for you. So uh, because time is very uh, limited. So uh, if you, you have any question, uh, you can uh, connect with me by email from the website. And also uh, I want to say if you want to uh, Join the tourism and the hospitality industry. I think my department is the best choice for your successful uh, career. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Jai, for your time. Okay, next we would like to invite um, Dr. Huang Wending from Department of International and Comparative Education. All right, uh, let me show my slides. Yes. Okay. All Where's right. Full screen. Okay, thank you. All right, good afternoon, everyone. I'm the director of the Department of International and Comparative Education. And I would like to introduce my department to you. Uh, first, we are the only institution specializing in international and comparative education in Taiwan. And there are two goals of our department. The first one is to study the educational systems as well as the, their societal, economical, and the cultural contexts of different countries around the world. And we also cultivate academic researchers of comparative education and the talents of international uh, cultural and educational management. And we provide undergraduate program, master's program, and doctoral program. And there are several significant features of our department. The first one, uh, we uh, emphasize the learning of foreign language. This is for undergraduate program. And second, our teachers got a PhD degree from different countries. Uh, so they can provide a wide range of cultural and educational knowledge of diverse countries. And we also provide a lot of opportunities for uh, students to participate in uh, international study, volunteering, and internship. And we 
emphasize the importance of intercultural communication competence. And in our department, uh, postgraduate students have plenty of research choices regarding topics and the countries or areas. You can sorry, see this. Sorry for interruption, and the PowerPoint is not sliding. Oh, sorry? The, the PowerPoint is not running. Now. It's not? Yes, right now it's, it's coming to the right, right slide. Okay, please continue. All right. So. I, but now I'm not playing the PowerPoint. Okay. Anyway, so uh, you can see these examples of our former uh, international postgraduate students. They do research on different topics.